and then they've got a another area over here that uh, also wants to try to play guitar and uh, hang out and so, but it, it makes a great space for me I'm uh, very fortunate to have it and, uh, so it really makes it great and, and then I can sit out and have a glass of wine look down the river afterwards and, yeah, I, I really have a pretty good life at this point. <laughs>
Uh, I like art that makes me happy or makes me feel positive things. Uh, not much in the negative art. <laughs> There's enough depressing things going on right now. We don't need any of that. Is that your sizes are typically very large. Is it more fun to work on large scale work than small because you get to explore more and express more? Uh, it really is. I mean, you can really throw your whole body and feeling. It's like a physical exercise when you paint on a large scale. Uh, you really got to keep things going. Uh, you're trying a lot of times to keep the, the paints wet and move it along and it puts more into it, and it just it's just more exciting. Uh, it's also truthfully better for my back to stand up and paint large scale. Uh, and I also really like to see my work more in commercial applications, and, and I think the large scale lends itself towards that. Uh, the other thing I always find is when you, when you have a large scale thing, there's two experiences of it. One is uh, I always people tell people get really close, walk in, feel that painting, look at the pieces of it. And then after you do it, go back and look at it from a ways. And you just start to experience the whole painting versus when it's just this one little thing. And it's more of a, almost a sculptural feeling when you can do it on a large scale. Yeah. Uh, and I always tell people, touch it, feel it. I know everybody says you're not supposed to touch someone's art, but I say, touch it. Um, since I install a lot of your artwork in the Art Loan program, I know that most of your um, work is perfect for commercial businesses. Is most of your clientele and commissions for commercial businesses too? Uh, I think most of it is. I'm getting a fair amount of uh, art now in restaurants at times. And, uh, you know, it's finding that venue. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know if I worked harder at marketing it, I'm sure I can get more of it out there, but I'm a little lazy at that point. <laughs> I, you know, there, there's nothing more exciting than having your art picked by someone and, and put up and when I walk into the commercial installations and you've done an amazing job. Ava's been so great uh, for how it gets artists out there and shares our work and, and I'm so appreciative of the input and, and how you've done it. But it really is neat to walk into a commercial office and see a large piece of your art in, in that conference room or at their main lobby and seeing people enjoy it and, uh, and just feel good about it. Do you work with oil and acrylic? Uh, I shifted almost entirely to acrylic just because the oils take so long to dry. The acrylics, you just can do so much more. Uh, you can paint more paintings. Uh, it doesn't take near the time of waiting for the dry. And it's, it's hard to keep that emotion going with an oil when you have to wait and take this time. I like pastels once in a while. I may start doing those again too. When you pick your titles, is there a story that you put behind the pieces after they're done, or is it just, you know what, these colors, I think it should be named this type of thing? Uh, most of the time there's a, a real feeling you have when you're painting the thing, because it is emotional. Uh, once in a while you get done with one and you go, I don't know what to call this, <laughs> you know, there is those times. You know, when I'm, spring came along, I, I paint these things with a daffodil, bright looking abstracts. Uh, you know, uh, painted one, uh, you know, the uh, passages where you look at transitions in life and uh, the life gate, uh, you know, my mom had passed away and I just had a granddaughter bar and it was kind of like this experience of what is the transition between new birth and, and death and, and how does it feel. So there's almost always a lot of emotion and direction. And, you know, the name and that, like that sort of thing, you say it, it's the life's gate. So it, it really, it, it's, you're in it. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate your time and sharing more info about your work. Well, thank you. I appreciate all you've done. And, uh, you know, it's exciting every time when you pick paintings of mine and, and put them into deals. I always look forward to the next rotation. Yeah. yeah. And I'm sure looking forward to being at the Four Bridges Art Festival. Uh, we're really excited to have got picked uh, as an emerging artist there and uh, I was trying to get lots of paintings together because yeah. I was thinking, oh, i got to have a bunch and, <laughs> and then it all stopped. So. Yeah. Well, postpone, postpone. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and uh, I'm excited for what you have coming this year. Oh, thank you. I wish it's uh, 
pandemic would go away and yeah. we could all get out there and do more things. Right. I think we'll all appreciate life a little more because of this whole situation. We do. Yeah. We do.